Jody says, hey, Robbie, Jordan. are there any Yahoo type widgets for Linux or Ubuntu? Okay. Yahoo, as you know, um, has not, they've been dragging their feet to get their widgets to work in Ubuntu or Linux in general. I think it's largely uh, because of the fact that there's so many different desktop environments. They are like, okay, well, which one do we develop for? Do we make a, a KDE version? Do we make a GNOME version? We can't possibly do both. They're, uh, they're, it's probably not going to happen. So we need to find something that's alternative. I've mentioned it on previous ep episodes as well, but there's an application called Screenlets. And I usually have this installed on my system. And I do have it installed right now. So in Synaptic Package Manager, right click and go mark for installation and then apply. So let's just take a look at Screenlets uh, because I've got it already on here and because it is you know, pretty comparable to uh, the way that Yahoo kind of works with the widgets and things like that. Uh, I think it's under Accessories, yeah, Screenlets. First time you run it, you're going to get a prompt, uh, like a window, uh, and I'm going to get it too because I don't have any Screenlets installed right now. So these are like the default Screenlets that you can install directly, like right out of the box after installing it through Synaptic Package Manager. So you've got system monitors and things like that, clocks and calendars and, you know, anything that you would expect from a, a desktop widget uh, program. So are you learning here, Carrie? You know what a widget is now? I am so sorry. I was writing down a question. Can <laughs> <laughs> you tell me again? Yeah. No, there's a calculator widget. Um, so you know, it's just like that. Double click Those on the one widgets? that you, double click on the one that you want. Place it on your desktop where you want. Okay. And then once it's placed where you'd like it, I don't really like the looks of that calculator. Okay. So then you close that window. I've got my calendar here. Nice little calendar there. Shows the big date there. And when I mouse over, it shows me the the entire month. Very cool. So what I'm going to do is just right click on that calendar and go properties. And that's going to bring up the, the uh, you can go into the options tab here and you're going to stick it to your desktop. You're going to treat it as a widget. You're going to lock the position. You're going to turn off keep above and set it to keep below because you want it on your desktop, not over top of your programs. And then close that and now you've got your widget right there. And it is built right into your desktop nice and sharp. So hopefully that's kind of what you're looking for. And certainly, if you've never used a widget, that's that's a great application to try. And that is available across the board for different Linux distributions. Nice. John Robert was just saying that widgets are just funny borderless utilities, really. Yeah, but you can stick Good them to your remember. desktop in such a way that, you know, things that you use a lot of, like the calculator I saw there, yeah. even though I wasn't happy with the way it looked, it's it's available, uh, you know, at just a glance. I can just look at my screen, and there it is. Oh, okay. So. Cool. Good. Um, C. Brookins in the chat room says that screen looks all look kind of cheesy. Are there any other things that you can use? Well, I don't think that they're cheesy. I think that there's some really great screenlets, and there's a lot of, but what you're looking at is the ones that are, that come with the application in, in Synaptic. So, uh, you can install different, uh, different screenlets as well, and you can get them from three third-party sources. Um, take a look at it, and if you still feel, after looking at it and trying it out, uh, that it's not what you're looking for, then let me know, and we'll look around for something else. I know that there's... Plenty of different ones around, uh, but I I found that Screenlets was the most universally uh, functional on my computers, anyways. 